When I was growing up, before I went to law school, gays, lesbians, and bisexuals, and transgender people didn't really have any rights, especially with uh, respect to couples and relationships, and I wanted to change that. I, uh, I thought that getting into law school would give me a, a platform to be able to advocate for those rights and uh, fight for those rights. Well, being from an invisible minority, one of the problems that we have, either dealing with other lawyers or dealing with clients, is that we tend to make assumptions. We tend to assume that everyone is heterosexual. And you can't tell just by looking at someone, for the most part, what group they belong to. So one of the tips that I would have would be when asking about relationship status, use inclusive language rather than, for example, saying husband or wife, use the word spouse or partner. I think the best day for me as a lawyer was the day of my reception honoring me as a new president of the Manitoba branch of the Canadian Bar Association. It was a day that I felt very proud to be both a member of the Bar Association and a gay lawyer. It was one of my crowning achievements to stand there as the first openly gay branch president in this nation in front of my family, friends and uh, colleagues and judges um, was an amazing experience for me. Part of life and part of being a lawyer is being able to communicate with other people and have fun, and that's a lot of uh, what goes on in our profession. I think uh, we live in uh, the country that probably has the best um, legislative regime for gays and lesbians in the world, and I think that being a lawyer and the legal community has played a huge role in that.